Hey, what's up, Reefers? So today I would like to talk about two fish that are never quite the main characters, but they always play nice supporting roles. They make the main characters look nice. So we're gonna talk about the yellow clown goby and the green clown goby. So even though they are both called clown goby, they're quite different. Let's take a look right here. So here we got the yellow clown goby. Let me zoom in a little bit. So the yellow clown goby has a more slim profile than the green clown goby. And in my experience, the yellow clown goby is a lot more outgoing and bolder. Um, one thing that really annoys me with the yellow clown goby is that they do have a tendency to kind of sit on the front glass. Uh, right now is, is, is right now is being a model citizen sitting on a coral. But normally I'll find him just kind of like chilling right on the front glass and it does not look natural at all so that kind of drives me nuts. I'm a little bit OCD like that. Let me see if he does it. And at least my guy also has a tendency to kind of hover in uh, mid water column. Oh, there you go, look at him. Just kind of like sitting on the front glass. It's kind of weird, right? But notice how slim the yellow clown goby is. And now let's see, where's my green clown goby? Oh, he went in hiding. So that's the thing with the green clown goby as well. Uh, so the yellow clown goby, I can always find him. He's always kind of just sitting right out in the open. With the green clown goby, they seem to be a little bit more reclusive. Um, they like to hide among coral heads a lot more compared to the yellow clown goby. Yeah, that's weird. Normally, <laughs> normally it does not hide for this long. They kind of tuck in and come back out. All right, well, let's talk about the yellow clown goby more until he decides to show up. So back to this guy. So I really like the yellow clown goby because uh, number one, I mean, they're, they're cheap. They're like ten dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry, yellow clown goby, but they're awesome fish. Don't let the price uh, don't let the price fools you. They have personality. Uh, they like to perch. You know, they like to uh, dart among corals. Even though this guy's a lot bolder, um, and they are not shy. That's that's actually a big thing. A lot of people, a lot of times, like when you buy small fish like this, you, you're worried that you never see them again. Uh, but not with this guy. This guy's always out in the open, you know, and they seem to not have any issue with other fish. Uh, they, they would have issue with uh, the same, uh, same type. So for example, if you have two yellow clown goby, they may, they may uh, fight each other unless they're like uh, different sex. So you notice that I only have one, one yellow clown goby in here. And oh, let's look who decided to show up. Over here we have the green clown goby, and let's look at the. Let me see if we can get a side shot. Oh, sorry, it's kind of kind of lousy, but already you can kind of see the body profile is different between the green and yellow go, uh, clown goby. The green clown goby, the body's a lot taller, right, and the mouth is a lot bigger. So. It's quite obvious by just seeing the body shape that <laughs> this guy is not built for swimming in the open water. And that's why you'll find him perching on corals and rocks most of the time. And this guy is actually a lot more reclusive than the yellow clown goby. And this has been my experience with, um, well, I had multiple yellow clown gobies because I love the color and personality. The green goby, I've only had two. This is my second guy. And both of them have been really kind of like reclusive and really subtle. They're just kind of, well, for the first, at least let me talk about this guy. So for the first three or four months, this guy has been really secretive. I, I rarely see him. But something just kind of changed on the, around the fourth month when I've had him. That's when he started perching on corals and, you know, like wedging himself between zoas like this and just kind of watch a tank. But even then, it, it never really swim out in the open like the yellow clown goby is always kind of perching and watching. But uh, it's really quick to the food. The food drops in the tank, you know, in the water. It's, it's like one of the first fish to kind of dart towards the food. But it always, it always dart back to the safety of a coral head, whether it's uh, right there. See, see what it just did? Whether it's right there or like among the candy cane, etc., etc. But the green clown goby does not have the annoying habits of sitting on the front glass, <laughs> probably due to his nature of liking to have coverage. However, the color is a lot more drape. 
Um, but one cool thing about the green clown goby is that if you look carefully on its face, it has really cool red marking too. So I think the green clown goby is a fish that needs to be appreciated um, with people who are willing to just kind of like pay attention and watch a tank. You know, its personality is a little bit more subtle. But in terms of personality, I feel like the green clown goby has more personality than the yellow one. But the yellow one reminds me of like a dog. Just always out there, open, you know, be like, hey, look at me, look at me, feed me, blah, blah, blah. Where the green one, just kind of like, more like a cat. It's kind of chill there. You gotta, you gotta like, you have to be quiet and just watch to appreciate. So they both have their own personality and their own charm. And the reason that I really like them is that, well, number one, they look great, they have personality. And of course they're cheap. I mean, the green clown will be a things like $15. <laughs> but um, also another great thing about them is that they are so small that they don't really add much bio load to your tank. And that means you can, well, I wouldn't say lo load the tank up with them, but you can, most of the tank can afford to have one or two of these guys. Just make sure you don't get the same type, unless you're sure it's a male and female pair. Otherwise, I feel like um, they would have issue with each other of the same color. Here's a yellow guy sitting in a front glass again, trying to round me up. <laughs> and there's a green guy just watching. Now, in terms of uh, Congo bees, typically people call, say that they are reef safe, but I have a story to tell you. <coughs> so while I was trying to pair the, my Yasha gobies up with a pistol shrimp, the fist, first pistol shrimp I got is a tiny little guy. It's probably like half the size. Actually, no, one third the size of the. Let me let me zoom in. One third the size of the green clown goby I got right there. And the pistol shrimp was doing fine for one day in my tank. And then the next morning, I discovered it was a piece of rock right in the center of the sand bed. I had no idea what's going on there. So I just kind of lifted the rock and outshot the tiny little pistol shrimp. It's like, like, like right there, right? And at that time, the green clown goby is watching. It's like right there. And immediately, wham! The green go green clown goby jumped onto the pistol shrimp, grabbed it sideways, meaning that the goby has the pistol shrimp in his mouth sideways, and it shook it like a dog. So imagine when a dog plays with a toy, right, or a, a, a rag doll or whatever, it will grab the grab the doll and it shake it violently left and right like this. That's exactly what the fish did. And the weird thing is that it's not the entire body sh shake; it's just the head. In front, uh, before the pectoral fin. It's, it's weird, it's like watching, look at this guy. Okay, so a uh, sea star just kind of fell and just immediately went to investigate. So it's kind of like that, except it's like lightning fast. It's like wham, jumped on the pistol shrimp, grabbed the pistol shrimp sideways and pop, 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 shake it viciously. And then it swam a little bit with his in the mouth and shake it a little bit more. I freaked out, I was like, oh my God, pistol shrimp's gonna die. So um, I immediately reach into the tank that's when um, the goby dropped the shrimp and swam away. I pick up the shrimp, right? Wow, all, all, all the legs and claws are gone. And so just the body of the shrimp. I'm like, what the? So it was, it was wild. So that pistol shrimp was a little bit small, actually really small. It's about one third the size of my um, green clown goby. But I did not expect that to happen from a reef safe fish. That is, then again, I guess I, I misinterpreted <laughs> reef safe. I suppose anything smaller of food size for the fish is not really safe, right? Anyway, it's just something to be aware of. Um, the yellow clown goby has a much smaller mouth and the demeanor seems to be a little bit more different. So I would trust, if you have small shrimps, I would rather trust the yellow clown goby than the green clown goby. The green clown goby just, the mouth is a lot bigger and it just, it's just a lot more aggressive, at least in my experience. Between the, um, if you have to compare between the yellow clown goby and green clown goby. <coughs> and I mean, just looking at the body shape between the two, you can tell they have like really different habits, even though they're ca both called clown gobies, but I'm sure they're really different. And besides the yellow and the green, there's like other types, you know, there's like citrus, there's like, I forgot, black, that's also a black one. So take a look at them. Um, I feel like they're really neat fish. Just be careful if you have a large green clown goby um, and you have a small shrimp, just keep an eye on them. Uh, but otherwise, I think like the yellow clown goby is definitely a safe choice. Uh, the small mouth and 
in my experience, I've kept them with sexy shrimp, no issue. So, so that is pretty much it. That has been my experience with the clan gobies. I think they're a great addition to any reef tank, as long as nothing would eat them and they would eat nothing. <laughs> um, they are vibrant in color, or at least some of them, and they are vibrant in personality. And they are tiny, meaning that they won't add a big bio load to your tank. So I feel like most reef tank should be able to afford having one or two or three clan gobies, assuming they're either male or female pair or they're like of different type. So I know these fish are not talked about often because I mean, they're, they're not as cool, not as expensive as the more popular fish, but I still feel like they're a really great addition to any reef tank. So if you have any experience with the clan gobies, if you have any insight, especially to the other clan gobies that I do not have, feel free to leave a comment and we'll have a discussion about it. I always love these cryptic kind of fish, the small ones, because you can kind of add multiple ones to, um, to a, even a small reef tank like this. So I always love to learn more about them. With that said, this is it for the clown gobies. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If I cannot answer it, other people will. And have a good weekend, guys. Talk to y'all later.